why you can have Ronnie Rao, Leibischer, Lemt and Renschmidt all in the same road. Pogba, Banguse, Postergaard, Ushnaf, so quite a few of the 200 guys yeah. are going in this. Which is nice that after having their K2 taken away from the Olympic program, they have another well, event. certainly know how to conquer the 1,000 meters. Yeah. This is the young crew, I think. Well, a mix. Uh, this is a new new combination. So they're all, tell me what they're doing with their arms and why. They're just shaking out any lactate that um, would have built up in, in the warm up and just try and get the muscles as loose as, as they can before they start. This is the other Slovakian crew. Silver medalist from Rio. The Spanish, I think, will be very good. And the new Czech crew without Dostal. The current world record holders from Germany. Part of their Olympic boat. Uh, Leibischer and Renschmidt, Marcus Graves, Max Hoff together in the uh, K2. Yeah. The Portuguese switch it around a little bit. Emmanuel Silva normally steers the bait. Postergai uh, knows what it's like to have a lot of power behind him with Daichenko. Oh, about to start. And they're away. The wind is slightly going. It's a slight tailwind. Very, very high rates, especially from the Germans. Lots of 200 meter power pushing um, Max Rinschmidt down the course. So you see the, the Spanish in your picture taking it away with the Germans also in the black tip boat looking very powerful at this stage. Very, very controlled. Just going through halfway. There's Marcus Waltz, who Good won the gold medal in the 1,000 meters. Hasn't done much this weekend yeah. in Rio. Yeah. Putting down a fast time of well. Oh, they've got the lead at the moment, but the Germans so are just coming Germany back up. Germany with Max Renschmidt. I spoke to him about 9 o'clock yesterday evening. He said he was disappointed with his K1 performance, but he's looking happy with his... Uh, with his K4, it's already coming into the last 100 meters and it looks like Ronnie Rao and his mates are taking it away. It's going to be a fast time. Germany all the way, they're really pulling ahead with every single stroke. Germany's going to take it from Spain. I think that's another world record. I think it is. The world record before was 119.650. I think it's going to be about 119 okay. flat. Wow. And Impressive. not even that much of a wind. No. Well, this is going to be the Olympic boat. Sorry, the Olympic discipline. Mm -hmm. You really don't really have time to hold your breath you, or catch your breath. <laughs> no. One minute, 19 <laughs> seconds of a pure speed. No. I didn't even see who got third. I was so excited by the world record. Right, the, the speed, the time of things. I think it probably is. I say 119. We'll have to have confirmation of how the uh, how the side goes. So the Spanish certainly had the high profile, but the Germans. Mm. Just look at the determination. Yeah. Good timing. The, the back people have to put their pedals in just before so that it kind of rushes the front paddler to um, get, their the, get the stroke rate up, which can obviously keep the speed going. Well, the middle of that boat with Raoul Liebescher, who specialized in the 200 meters. Yeah. And Max Lemke just missed out on the Olympics in the K1 200 last year at their selections. So he was a great junior, and Ren yeah. Schmidt uh, only won two goals in Rio. <laughs> yeah, it's New World's best by wow. nearly a second. 118, 748, Raoul Ibishir, Lemke, Ren Schmidt are the...